Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mangus. I am adjusting my headset. Not sure if you can hear this, but there we go. It is time for part 17 of Let's Play Fire Emblem 7. We're about to enter chapter 22, which is called Kinship's Bond. The group travels west to meet with Lord Uther, the Marcus of Ostia. Lord Uther is an intelligent leader and power in the Lysian League. He has also been a father to Hector, even since their parents died many years ago. Hector's reunion with his brother is a happy one, if somewhat embarrassing. Hector continues his journey filled with complex emotions. At length, they arrive at a fortress that separates Taria and Ostia. Chapter 22 Kinship's Bond. Uh oh, it's time for the Black Fang meeting. Jafar? Ursula? Lloyd? Linus? That's everyone, is it not? If I have you, the four fangs together, I need no one else. I have need of you to eliminate a man whose living plagues me. His name is Elliwood, a noble of Farah. Farah is located in Lycia, is it not? That's right, but he is no simple country lord. He has friends, other Lysian lords. Individually, they are no match for you, and yet, carelessness invites death. Do not make that, do not make that mistake. Lloyd, Linus, I have work for you, the Reed brother as well, all right? One question, are these our fathers or, I mean, the orders of the head of the Black Fang? <laughs> Why, naturally. Isn't that right, my beloved? Mm. Ah, yes. There, are you satisfied? Remove Elliewood. Your orders come from the head of the Black Fang, Brendan Reed. As members of this group, you will follow that order, yes? Or does your opponent frighten you into immobility, Lloyd? Hey, Sonia, how dare you speak to my brother in such a way? Linus. I know. Sonia, we do not need to be chastised by you. Under our father, we are the ones who carried out the law of the Fang. If Elliwood is an evil person, there is no reason for us to hesitate. The Fang lets no one escape. We, the Brothers Reed, dispense the Fang's justice. <laughs> Ursula Jafar, do you understand your orders, yes? Once you find the target, you eliminate him at once. It will be as you say, Lady Sonia. Anything for you. I received my orders. I will do my duty. Your target's name is Elliwood, noble of Farah. Bring him down on the Black Fang's honor. Oh, snap. We made some enemies. And now we are at Castle Ostia. I've had word from my brother. He's already on his way here. We're to wait for him. Lord Uther is coming here himself? So it appears. I told you this before, but Castle Ostia... Not to mention the city itself is filled with countless foreign spies. I assume he thinks it will be easier to speak freely here. But wouldn't leaving Ostia generate even more attention? He's traveling in secret with very few attendants. He's skilled at this sort of thing, there's no need to worry. How unconventional. It must run in the family. And what exactly is that supposed to mean? Nothing. I'm very much looking forward to meeting him. Niels! Are you well? You seem distant. I'm fine. Just a little tired. We can sit still for one night. I'll be better. Mm. No! Nils! Nils! Nils? Nils, are you alright? Nils, open your eyes! Ninian, calm down. Ah, hi! Let's move him to the back room and call a healer. You mustn't move him! Huh? Ninian? I'm sorry. I. Please, just for now, don't move him. But... Please! Let's do, it, do as Ninian says. She must have her reasons. Please, just one night's nice rest. That should make things right. If it's going to make him feel better, fine. Whatever you do, don't move him. I'll let the others know. Lord Hector, my apologies. No worries. Oh, snap! So this is well, the fair and a noble... I'll try that again. So this is where the fair noble and his friends are, eh? Yes, Commander Abudans. Abudabites, Abudabudabans. Very well, Heath. Your unit will attack from the west of the fortress. Your mission is to put an end to the entire group. Make no mistakes. Are you serious? Marcus Laos abandoned us and just vanished. We've no reason to engage this group. 
We answered Marcus Lau's call, and we will honor our duty. Regardless, we cannot remain in Lisi any longer. We rebelled against Ostia, and our entire mercenary force is hunted. If we take their heads now, we can join the Black Fang and burn. I'm opposed to this plan. There are women and children in their group. What would you what you would ask of us? It's something no knight, no man could do without shame. Listen well, Heath. You're a wanted man, a fugitive from Burn. How about we take you and hand you over to Burn's Vivern Riders? We might even be knighted as a reward, given honest work. Haha, <laughs> thought as much. Everyone wants to protect his own skin. Now get your unit together. We attack! Sir, we're under attack. It's the East Gates. The foe is already inside. Hmm, blast. They would show up now. We can't move Nils. Let's try and hold him off. Protect Nils. Don't let them near him. Alright. So, now we can finally bring... Oh, we gotta bring both of these useless lords. Alright. Not Bartra, though. We can skip him. Um, we don't need Bartra yet. Alright, Lin. I'm gonna give you a killing edge. You already have an iron sword. I'm gonna give you another one. Um, so pure water is always nice. Let's see, Elliewood. Uh, hmm, Elliewood, now wait. Well, oh, actually, uh, there is a secret shop here. Um, right here, on the floor tile right here. I don't remember what it sells. There are some chests over here, if I remember correctly. One of them contains 10,000 gold. Not that money is a big problem for me, because uh, I'm going to be able to sell the ocean seal. Someone pointed this out in the comment, that's going to give me like 25,000 gold, so... Cash is not really an issue, but I'll always take more of it, of course. Alright, let's see if there's some stealable stuff here. This The boss drops an ice crest. That's Ibudabudabuduns. Ibuns. Ibuns, yeah. He's a powerful dude, but not shouldn't be too difficult. Ooh, Sword Reaver. Nasty. Nasty, nasty. Lance Reaver. Lots of Reaver weapons here. Extreme. Oh my god, so many land, So many Reaver weapons. It's insane. Oh my god, this is like the opposite chapter. Alright, well... I got, uh, I bought myself some pure water from the last level with, uh, with the silver card. It's, it's extremely cheap and it's very worthwhile to have. So I'm gonna be, be equipping most of my units with the pure water. Let's see, uh, Rebecca is very close to becoming a sniper, so I'm gonna be giving her the orange bolts. As well as a, uh, we could probably, probably sell these bows right now. She can get the, uh, let's see, there's a killer bow here for her. I think... Uh, we could drop the Brave Bow for now. I, I want to save that a little bit, but I want to give her some pure water. Same with Will. Dum da da dum 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 Alright, Sarah. She has the Barrier Staff. She has the Physics Staff. She has the Men's Staff. She has everything she needs. Actually, I think I'll skip the Men's Staff. Actually, no, I don't kind of want it, but there is a... Let's see, do we have any... Are there any like berserk staves or anything on this map? We could check that out. I don't. S I didn't see anyone as far as I can remember, but it's always nice to check. I don't think there are. Nah. So there's no point in bringing out the restore staff just yet. Uh, the unlock staff probably. What am I doing? The unlock staff probably won't be useful either. Um, but the sleep staff might be useful. I don't know. I don't. Don't think there's any good. I think I'm just gonna stick with a heal staff. Uh, maybe actually, you know what? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna give her a shine. Nah, fuck it. She's been taking way too much experience already. You can stay back and heal for a while, Sarah. All right, Matthew, he's good. Let's give him pure water though. Uh, there we go. Guy can keep his. Wow, his silver sword is like gonna break on the first attack. Might as well sell that. I'll give him a killing edge and another iron sword, I suppose. No, wait, I want to give him an, a pure water. There we go. Marcus is good, I think. Yeah, I do believe he has everything he needs. Everyone has what they need. How nice. I'm going to send Elliewood and do some shopping. Um, if I remember correctly, they sell torch staves, actually. And this is also the chapter which Isadora joins us, I believe. So that's kind of cool. Alright. Let us go and uh, get to those ballista, shall we? Da -ba -ba -da -ba -da. I'm actually gonna be sending Matthew over here to unlock the door, I think. Uh, see, can he move all the way over there? So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. He can't. Alright, well, I know how to fix that. 
I know how to fix that. It's called unlock. <laughs> yes. I brought it anyway. There we go. You over there. Why is Priscilla here? She's not supposed to be here. Go away. Alright, I think this looks good. Let us start. Malinus is level 14. He's gonna become a wagon soon. What the hell was that? Did you guys see that? Shall I join the battle this time, Manx? I can't wait. Ah, this brings back memories, doesn't it? Kind of like we're back in Le back with Linda's Legion again. Okay, Manx, guide my arrows through. All right, so uh, Isadora, uh, she's a good paladin. I like her. She's nowhere near as good as Marcus, though, but she can be a decent character. They do support with each other, so they can become a pretty good paladin duo. But she's not part of the draft. However, she does carry an angelic robe. Now, who wants more hit points? Um, I'm thinking Sarah, but she's, her avoidance is so good anyway. I'm thinking maybe... Not really sure who I should give this to. I'll actually think about it for a while. I don't feel the need to use it right away, so... I'm just going to be stashing these. All right, Marcus, go kick some ass. Also, we got some. Uh, oh my god, we got a lot of, a lot of enemies coming at us. A lot of. Okay, I think I'm gonna send. Uh, we could probably afford to send them two different directions, can't we? Even though they definitely work best together. I don't know. I'm actually gonna be sending Elliewood down here. Now, for the first thing I'm gonna do is actually I'm gonna open up this door. Up with you! I do want the treasure chest, so. Heath is here, actually. I think I'm gonna send the archers down to take that care of him. And uh, no, I don't want you to equip a longbow. Don't be silly. We can leave Matthew there. Hector and Elliewood, they can stay back. Oh, they have a support with each other. How nice, now they're a support. Here is Nils. He has 10 hit points, and he can apparently move. Which is nice, I guess. <laughs> Alright, let's see how this goes. I do believe Wrath appear in this chapter. Not that it matters much, though. We're not really going to use him anyway. Oh, yes, right. They have Axe Reavers. That was kind of a stupid move on my part. I really have to check the enemy's weapons here, because they are really deceptive. Like, super deceptive. Yeah, they all got Axe Reavers. That was kind of stupid of me. I should have thought... Oh! Marcus didn't like that. He's like, put down your axe reaver, little kid. I was awesome before your grandfather got your grandmother pregnant. Here they're breaking through the walls. They're breaking through the walls. They are breaking through the walls. And here the Elstian soldiers. Oh my god, they that was actually pretty decent, Mr. Elstian guy. They usually die pretty quickly, these soldiers, but... Luckily, this guy has a Lance Reaver, so that's kind of cool, so I guess there's a little bit of luck in that. Ba -ba, da -da -da, da -da. Is that Heath? No, that's just a mercenary. Yeah, these, these guys die pretty quickly, but that's pretty much their fate, so... Is that Heath? Nope, doesn't look to be Heath. Da -dum. Bum. Bum. Okay, so I think I'm just going to position Marcus on the uh, pillar. There's a lot of enemies coming at me here. Wow, this 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 map is actually pretty difficult in hard mode difficulty, so... Gotta be very careful about that. Marcus definitely is healing. Maybe I should give him the Angelic Robe. I don't know. I mean, consider, considering he doesn't level up that well, he might need the extra hit points to stay relevant. I don't know. Yeah, this is a little bit nasty, actually. What are you doing? Go home. Anyway, I really need to take a piss, so after this run, <laughs> I'm just going to pause the recording. <laughs> I did the one stupid mistake you should never do in a Let's Play. Never go, never start a Let's Play if you have to go to the bathroom. Oh, right. Lord Hector, we'll serve you as reinforcements. We're a small group and we're some mercenaries among us. Wrath of Sasuke, take charge of the mercenaries. Understood. Hear me. We're here to protect Lord Hector, Lord Elliwood, and Lady Lindis. Lin. Yeah, so here's, uh, here's Wrath. He's carrying a light rune, actually. Problem with Wrath is that he joins rather late. Now, you can't, of course, train him up in Linda's story mode, so it's not that bad, but still, he joins extremely late for, like, an unpromoted unit. But his growths are extremely good, so... Anyway, I just really need to go take a piss right now. Whew! Oh, that, that, that felt really good. Oh, my God. You know, that feeling when you really need to take a piss. Alright, so they're mostly axe users here, so I actually think that I wanna... 
I want to equip my javelin. That sounds nice. Oh, hell! Nice one, Marcus. Really nice. Alright, so... If I go down here with Sarah, I should be able to heal up Marcus. Yes, yes, that's nice. Saving the Paladin. Alright, so if I go down here with Will, I should be able to take down this guy. And then Rebecca should be able to take care of the other guy. And then Guy should be able to take care of all the other guys! Let's see. Down you go! Oh, nice one. Critical! We tried to give you more of those, Rebecca. Alright, Matthew. Uh, let's see, if I bring Matthew down here... Uh, he's most likely just gonna... Let's see. Where can I put Mar Matthew? I think I want to position Guy right here. Uh, let's equip a killing edge, shall we? I'm actually gonna do something a little bit risky right here. I'm gonna equip Matthew. I'm gonna put Matthew over here. I'm gonna drink a pure water. This might be a little bit bad. We'll have to see. I definitely want to go and uh, bring uh, Ellie Wood over to the secret shop when the enemies calm down a little bit. Alright, that's actually completely fine. If you want to destroy those guys, then I have no problems with that. All the green dudes disappearing. Alas, it is their faith. Also, um, it is their faith. It is their fates, not faith. That's com something completely different. So, yeah, I'm glad I equipped the javelin on Marcus because uh, these axe reavers would have hurt him real bad. A lot of mage users coming our way. I think I know exactly what to do with those. Oh! Wow, such a clusterfuck of units down here. I can't believe this. This is so insane. Oh, an axe weaver! Oh no! Oh no! I wonder if I'm ever going to be able to use that silver blade. It's just so darn heavy. But actually, in this position right here, Marcus would kick ass with it. Oh my god, he would do so much damage. It's insane just to think about. Nope, that ain't going to work out for you, my friends. That's actually going to work out extremely poorly, come to think of it. So yeah, I want to get Will and Rebecca down in that treasure chamber, because then I can position them in such a way that the incoming mages will actually go for them. And uh, when when you attack an archer across a wall, well, good things happen, so... I don't know this song half as well as I should. <laughs> Alright, so... This is kind of what I want to do right here. So this thief is pretty much... I don't think I can kill this thief with Sarah. No, I cannot. Thieves are way too fast for that to happen, so... Uh, so what I could do is I could kill... I could position Sarah right here. Block off the, do the pathway. Cock block the mage reinforcements. And then I could use Will to take care of... Is this Heath? Yeah, it is actually Heath. Well, goodbye, Heath. It was nice knowing you. At least you're going to give some experience to my archers. Oh, going out with style. I fought with honor. I can ask nothing more. No, you cannot. And stay down. Alright, so now we can actually position Rebecca right here. And we can go around with Matthew. He should be able to reach that thief. Now this thief's going to go grab a treasure chest. I'm just going to go and steal his lockpick so he can't open anymore. He actually has a lance clear. That's actually very interesting. Alright, uh, I'm guessing I'm just going to... Oh, maybe I should just equip my sword. That'd probably be a good idea. There's going to be a lot of killing happening over here. I'm pretty confident my guys can hold their own on the pillars, so... Duh. Although these guys do have sword weavers, though. The axe, axe guys, but I'm pretty sure a guy can actually deal with them fine, even though they get a weapon triangle advantage against him. We're going to have to see. All of these guys got sword weavers, actually. Oh, an armor slayer. Hmm. You know what? Uh, the steel sword isn't really that useful. I'll t I take the armor slayer. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so these guys th these guys got sword reavers, and that's not good at all, but still. I we'll just have to see. Nope! Ain't anybody coming in through this door, because Sarah is blocking the path. 
this is completely fine because he's wielding a bloody axe reaver. What is he thinking? Going after Guy in such a condition. You're just gonna get owned, my friend. And Guy is gonna level up soon, actually. Three points more of experience and he's gonna level up. I'm very curious to see what he will get. Probably skill and speed, if I know Guy correctly. Seriously, why can't you crit, Guy? You wasting your killing edge! Stop it! Stop it! Alright, level up time. You better get something good, Guy, I swear. Hit points and speed. Well, fuck you. Jesus Christ. I've never seen such a useless fucking swordmaster in my life. The joke is that he's still actually a rather useful unit. Problem is that he could have been so much better if he just had leveled something other than hit points, skill, and speed. Although I guess that is all a swordmaster need nowadays. Nowadays. Oh, you have a lance reaver, do you? Does it look like I'm wielding a lance to you? Your little raw young recruit. I was awesome before your grandmother got pregnant. Dead, 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 dead. I find it ironic how Guy gets, like, almost as much experience from killing dudes as he does <laughs> wounding them. And dead, 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 dead. Ba ba. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, hello. Nope. Club is full. You can't come in. Sarah's like the Sarah's like the Bowser. Did I just say Bowser? Bouncer. <laughs> She's not like the Bowser. Dead, 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 dead. She's like the uh, the Bouncer at at the club. Club, club, le death. You can't come in, so she just kills you. Oh, hello. What do you want? Hey. Hey. That is not cool, man. Not cool at all. What are you doing? I don't think any one of them stands a chance of hitting Guy, actually. Might as well just give up. Pew! Nope! Ain't gonna happen. Zero percent hit chance. That is, like, very, very discouraging. <laughs> I was like, nope, not in a million years can I hit this guy. I'm still gonna try, though, but it's not gonna work. Oh, goodbye, Wrath. Urgh! That's a cool death quote, actually. I like that death quote. Very basic. Very, very okay. Oh, hello, a Brave Axe. Okay, that's completely fine. We can just go and steal your lockpick. Oh, it's the Hero Mercenary. I love this guy. Uh, but he's attacking a dude with a Sword Reaver, so that, that ain't going too well for him. Oh my god, so many magic users, it's insane! This is why I want Rebecca. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna position her right here, and we're gonna go and equip ourselves with a pure water. Same with Will. And Sarah's just gonna keep keep being the ba bouncer right here. This guy has a sword reaver. I think I just want to go and kill this Viver Knight really quickly. Because he's a little bit annoying, but I think we should be good here. And then Marcus can continue to be awesome over here. While Lynn takes over his pillar. Oh, Marcus critical. I missed those. It's been way too long, Marcus. Can I reach the other pillar? Yes, I can. And killing edge time! I'm probably wasting this killing edge. I could probably do this just as easily with an iron sword, but hey. Alright. I probably don't need to use killing edges right here. I crit just as nicely with an iron sword, so well. My crit chance is halved, but at least I'm not wasting like 1000 gold every time. Alright, so I do believe it's time to pick up Ellie Wood. <laughs> uh, let's see, Isadora, come here. There we go, and now, let's go and steal. I could potentially also just position myself. I could grab this chest or chest first, I think. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. That's 10,000 gold, that is now mine. Then we're gonna kill off the thief and have 10,000 more, or a Brave Axe more, at least. Ah, steel lands, that's not nice. That's a little bit trolly, after equipping everyone with Axe Reavers, you suddenly send a steel lands guy in my face. I don't like that one bitch, mister. And yeah, lots of mages coming at me right there. Don't like that. That's not cool. Might have to send Lynn back because she can't retaliate on them. That's not nice. Duh, duh. 
Hero Mercenary continues to be a hero. I love Hero Mercenary. Ah, it's okay. It's okay to say hey, let's rejoice with the bows in the... I can't believe I'm singing this song. It's probably a very bad idea. I'm not singing the song as it is supposed to be sung. I did make my own version, but... Uh, yeah, if you know that song, then... Yeah, okay. Never mind. Not that there's anything wrong with that! My god, I think I might have let people slip through. Not a good idea. Whew. So many mages. No! Hero Merc! No! How could you? You were, you were the chosen one! I'm supposed to recruit that guy to my team later on. Alas, it could never be us, Hero Merc. It could never be us. Da -da. Oh, well, you... That, that ain't gonna happen. I'm sorry, my friend. Nope! Oh, not a critical, though. Oh, thank you, Marcus. Really. You shouldn't have done that. Only one guy left of Rats units. How sad. Oh. And, oh, he will survive yet another turn. So you get no special things from keeping them alive, by the way. There's not, like, a hidden item or something. Which is a little bit trolly, because that's something that Fire Emblem has a tendency to do. Okay, so I'm gonna be... Equipping uh, Rebecca right here. I'm gonna be using the pure water, and we're gonna have some fun with these guys over on the other side here. It's gonna be keeping Will nearby. Actually, I really want to kill this guy, so I am going to do that and take his brave axe. Oh, I should—I could have pickpocketed his lockpick first, I guess, but yeah, it's okay. I think I have one more of those anyway. We could always buy some of the secret shop if, if need be. All right, brave axe time. That's cool, I guess. Um. Da, 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 da. Oh, hello, Sword Reaver! Da, 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 da. I actually want to be uh, pulling Lynn back a little bit here. Uh, she can't retaliate, not retaliate on these guys, so it's a little bit sad. We're gonna use the hand axe, though, just for good measure. Pew! Pew, pew! I'm sorry, I can't resist saying pew pew every time a lightning is on the screen. It is just a super pew pew spell. It just, you know, pew pew, it just rolls off the tongue, you know? Alright, secret shop time! Let's see, lots of guys over here. Uh, I think I might just keep guy here. There's a lot of spell casters down there, and I don't like those, so. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, so I hope that Rebecca is going to kill off a lot of those mage users over there. It's probably going to give her enough experience to promote. Well, after Marcus is done with his share of spellcasters, that is. Nope! Nope! And nope! 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 It's too bad Sarah doesn't have pigtails on her sprite. She has, like, those, uh... That shawl that, that clerics wear above their hats, but she clearly doesn't have that on her sprites. So I don't understand why she has that. I'd much rather see her pigtails. Da, 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 da. Really, he goes for Sarah instead of Matthew? Well, I guess that makes sense. Yep. I say I'm going to use Sarah for healing, but I always end up using her for magic, so... It's kind of, I'm, I'm a little bit, uh... Hypocritical, I guess. Uh, okay, here, here goes. This is awesome. This is amazing for Rebecca. She also has will support, so she gets that extra bonus to crits. Oh, that actually hit me. Interesting. Very interesting. She's going to kill all of those guys, though, I think. At least I hope so. I really want her to become a sniper. Yay! Nice one, Rebecca! Nice one. Zero damage. Gotta love pure water. Pure water is like so awesome. I love it. That's why I bought so many of them. Dum dum dum. Oh my god! Stop hitting me, please. I'm gonna have to use a physics staff now. I don't want Rebecca to die. I'll be bad. Are we done with the magic users right now, or do we have more of them incoming? By all means, send them. Send them at me. I feel a little bit sorry for them, though. They're not doing much. <laughs> wee wee! 
fish. Oh, critical. I just love that little pause they do before they shoot. It's so amazing. Oh, wow. This must uh, this must be quite frightening for them. An old man, a little girl with green pigtails, and a little girl with pink pigtails just massacring everyone. Marcus must be like a legend, come to think of it. I mean, the legend of Marcus. He must really like be a hero in Farah. How many guys do you think... Like, how many widows do you think he's made over the course of his life? How many orphans do you think Marcus has made? Quite a lot. Oh, here goes Ra the last guy of Rath's units. Oh, darn. Well, you did good, Rath's units. You provided me with some much-needed cannon fodder. Ah, uh, here comes the boring part where they shoot at me from uh, from mid with ranged weapons. And sadly, I mean, it's so annoying that sword user doesn't have any ranged weapons. Really fucking annoying. So I'm just gonna try to pick pick down as many bow users as I can this turn, and uh, I'll leave the rest of the guys to attack me as they please. All right, is it secret shop time? Yes, it is. All right, let's see what. Oh my god, eighteen thousand gold. When did I get that? Seriously? When did I get eighteen thousand gold? That feels a little bit weird. Now I gotta think. Okay, so what was the last chapter? Was the last chapter? I'm gonna have to go check. Never fucking mind, I got into the treasure chests! I am stupid today. I was like, what the hell? I th had like 8,000 gold. Where did those 10,000 gold come from? Did I forget to like throw away money from the arena? But no, of course, I got 10,000 gold from a treasure chest, so... Alright, so what can we buy here? Elixirs, uh, chest keys, lockpick, physics, torches, unlocks, and barriers. Okay, I'm gonna buy three torch staffs, and the reason behind that is that... Uh, did I buy... How many did I buy? I'm gonna buy another one. Uh, there are at least three more Fog of War maps in this uh, game and they're all pretty hard and having a torch use a torch staff user and I will be having multiple I will have been uh, I'll be having pen soon so he can wield the torch staff as well and it's, and it's also a really nice source of experience uh, which is required to unlock a gate chapter in the desert which I will explain to you when we get to that part uh, we have enough unlock staffs I'm gonna get two barrier staves and a lock pick just for good measure. A we could get two more physics staves as well. They're really nice to have. After that, we're gonna stop spending money right now. All right, so let's take down some. Uh, let's take down some uh, majors, shall we? Da 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 da. Alright, we got any more? Uh, no, we're uh, fresh out of mage reinforcements, it would seem. Anyway, let's go and we could probably, we don't need to heal him up with a... Uh, ooh, so many guys with axe reavers. I'm gonna kill them all! <laughs> oh my god, seriously, what's Sarah's magic rank right now? Oh my god, she's about to get S rank in light magic, guys, I'm not even fucking joking. Uh, okay, I actually kind of want to use Marcus right here to block off this entrance and kill some uh, ranged guys, because they're starting to annoy me a little bit right now. Also, Sarah needs to go and get herself a new tome. <laughs> she is just insane, I can't believe her. Alright, annoying bow users, come here. You fired your last arrows. Now I gotta be a little bit careful about Hector and Nils, because they are pretty close to these guys, so... Gotta be careful. Oh, why are the back guys moving first? That's just stupid. STUPID! Actually, I kinda wanna get Will and Rebecca over to those uh, Ballista right there, that'll be kinda nice. Give them some last remaining experience. Should've moved them last turn, actually. I don't think I got that many turns left. Ooh! Hello, Sword Rex. You were actually pretty accurate. That's not nice. Oh! Useless critical again. Huh. These guys are moving very weirdly. Like they're they're moving with the back unit first so that the front units are blocking them off. That's actually kinda stupid. They shouldn't do that. It's actually very stupid. And so are you, stupid, stupid, stupid. Alright. My god, it's dark in my room right now. 
Should have turned on some lights. Oh, here we go. We're not done with the reinforcements yet, it would seem. Dun, dun. You know what? I'm just gonna borrow your longbow a little bit, Rebecca, if that's fine. Take the... Because I really wanna... Ooh, I can't kill that guy, apparently. Well, I'm gonna try to crit him. Yeah! Yeah, we need to go and heal these archers up. Alright, so let's see, you got any more? Uh, I could kill this guy, he has a sword reaver, he's nasty. Oh my god, we've all we've nearly spent our hand axe right now, it's kinda cool. For once I'll be spending a weapon completely instead of just selling it at low uses like I normally do. Being a little bit economical today. Dead, 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 dead. See, it would be kind of cool to get the boss too. The extra experience as well as the hero crest is usually worth it, so something to consider. Let's see if we can make it happen. Ba da da da. And a ding 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 for Sarah. Magic! Okay, I actually kinda like that. It was nice of her to level magic, I suppose. I hope I won't get doubled by that guy. The longbow is kinda heavy. However, it seems like we're good here, so. So yeah, I actually wanna go over to those ballista. That would be kinda cool. See how many turns do we have left? I think about five turns or something right now? Give us a couple of shots at least. Let's go check. Uh, oh my god, more mages. Oh my god, so many ma Oh my god, so many vibrants. Uh, actually, not that many turns left. We could probably just kill these guys, come to think of it. Rebecca badly needs some experience. She could really use some extra experience right now. I really want her to promote this chapter. I could always just promote her right now, but I really want to level her up first. I really want to do that. Okay, this works. Lance Reaver, sure. Oh, how I wished archers could retaliate in melee. That would be the best thing ever. Dun, dun. I gotta be careful not to get S rank in staves, though. <laughs> I don't want to get S rank in staves. I want to get them in light magic first. Oh, can you blame me? That would be the best thing ever to get S rank in light magic with Sarah. Da 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 da. Uh, and if you're wondering why I'm not playing with animations on Sarah, it's because I usually don't with my healers, but I'm also not used to using them this much in combat, so I kind of feel like I should turn the animations on, but I guess it's alright. I mean, it's not like... Uh, her, her fights are rather one-sided, I must admit. <laughs> it's not like there's much interesting stuff to watch over there. Oh, hello. Yeah, before I heal anymore, I definitely want her to get up to an S rank. But that's not gonna happen without a lightning tome. So, we should look into that. Mm, bum, bum. I guess she's kind of spent on that right now. I think she can heal one more time. Dum, bum. ka -chink! Ba Let's she... Let, let's she, actually. Let's see if she can uh, heal one more time. I think that should... I think we should be fine healing one more time. And then I'm actually going to stop using staves until I can get my light magic up to S rank. Alright, uh, we'll keep Will on the pillar. He seems to be the guy that uh, gets hit the most. See, does Rebecca have any of her pure water on her remaining? That would be kind of nice to see. I think, I, think, I think she has something remaining. Yeah, tree resistance remaining, so that's completely fine. I'm going to actually kill these Vyverns instead of the mages, because the Vyverns are actually much scarier than the mages at this point. How much experience does she get from one unit now? Hardly anything. I don't think I'm going to get her up to level max in this game, or this uh, chapter. So that's sad. Uh, let's see, these guys are kind of... <laughs> they are really, like... But I should I should really get a hand axe for Marcus, I feel. Let's see, hand axe... Let's get a javelin as well. Da da. Ba, ba. Ah, I got some hand axes left, actually. But those guys have axe reavers, though, so... Hmm. I guess I could send him up. We could, uh... I'm gonna keep Lin... Uh, could, 
Maybe I, could, I should just get Lin up to level 20. Wouldn't be anything, wouldn't be any harming doing so, I guess. I'm not sure when I'm gonna get my first Heaven Seal. Not yet, but uh, we're gonna get... It happens in the chapter where Pent and Luis joins, doesn't it? I can't remember, but I think it does. That's when you get to recruit your, or to promote your first Lord. I think that's chapter 25 or something? Can't remember. I should have given her a Killing Edge, by the way. This, this kind of sucks. Da, 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 da. Oh, her Iron Sword broke. Maybe she'll use something better this time. These guys are kind of stupid, I must admit. What the hell is up with this, man? Why are they like... Oh, okay. Ow! Like, why are they blocking themselves up like that? It's really, really silly. <sighs> Alright, Marcus. Here's the hand axes you asked for. I guess you could use up your current one before you get a new one. That's like, uh... It's considered polite. But I want to equip them so that the other hand axe appears in succession. That way, he won't switch to an iron sword or something when he runs out of hand axes. Which is kind of nice. Alright, killing edge time! Yeehaw! Crit crits! Alright, so now... See, we have two more turns. Can Rebecca manage to get more kills? Hmm. She'll... Okay. That's nice, I guess. She still lacks 45 experience, though. Doesn't sound like much, but it is a little bit of a deal. And I'm actually going to do something here. I'm going to rescue Sarah, because I actually want them to attack well. Oh, he, he doesn't have a lot of resistance, does he? Now, did he uh, did he even drink a pure water? Or does his resistance just suck? Yeah, he did drink a pure water, but it's about to run out, though, so it's hardly noticeable anymore. Duh. Alright, Axe Reaver time! I'm gonna kill all of those guys. So getting Lin up to level 20 wouldn't be too bad, I guess. Then I could just not bring her for a few chapters until she gets a promotion. But oh my god, Lin is going to become like the best Master Lord ever. I can't wait to see her promoted because her stats... She has leveled up so well. I don't think I've ever seen Lin get this powerful in my playthroughs. She got so much strength, which is a really ni a nice blessing because that's something she usually does not get. Uh, so I'm really happy to see that. And once she gets the stat boosts and the ability to use bows as well as... Oh my god, her with the Soul Caddy. She's going to kick all manner of ass. It's gonna be amazing. Now I wonder, the, the Soul Caddy is apparently made to combat Vyverns, but I you don't fight any Vyverns after you get it, but is the Soul Caddy super effective against Vyverns? I do wonder. I do wonder. Alright. Ah, here we go. Oh, this is actually very nice. Rebecca's gonna get a few extra kills from this, which I really like. Let's see. Still needs 28 experience. No, no thunders. Go away. I like don't like thunder. But I leveled up from it apparently. Hit points, strength, skill, speed, luck, and re oh my god, that is oh my god. She's gonna become oh my god. She's gonna become so fucking amazing. I can't even begin to think how much ass she's going to kick with the soul caddy in the final chapter. Just imagine, guys, how insanely awesome she's gonna get. She's gonna... Oh, we're gonna get her up to level 20 Master Lord. She's gonna soul of the dragon. <laughs> it's gonna be amazing. A hand axe broke, sadly. Alright, one more turn, I think. Yeah, this is the last turn. Too bad we didn't get the boss, though, but... Just look at those stats! Just look at those stats! 16 strength? Can you believe that? That is just unreal how good she is. I cannot believe how amazing she is. It's ugh, it's mind-boggling. Yep. Marcus, you're good too. I'm sorry I didn't talk too much about you this chapter, but there's so many other good units on my team now. But yeah, I mean, a level 10 Paladin still got solid base stance. You can't complain about these stats. They're not the best I've seen, but they're certainly not the worst. And, you know, he, he works. That's the thing about Marcus. He works. 
he, he, you know, he does things well. He's not the best in the world, but he's solid. Alright, last kill, for today. You're gonna get leveled up next time, Rebecca. I'm too, too sad, but because Sarah stole all your kills, pretty much, so... That's just how it went. I did kill almost every single enemy unit on the map, though, despite... The, except for the boss. I could probably have gone for the boss if I really wanted. But I can I can live without that. It's completely fine. And pew! How dare you cast thunder on me! I was awesome before your grandfather started studying magic. Another one? Come here! I don't even want to crit you. I want to hit you twice. There you go. You're not worthy of a critical. I am Marcus, devourer of kids! Alright, here we go! What did you say? Marcus Ostia is coming here! That's not... Are you sure that's not a mistake? There's no way we can defeat him. I'm leaving. I don't care what happens next. Abundance mercenaries are disbanded. So, brother, you're alive after all. You were so long gone that I feared you dead. Another day, and I might have arranged your funeral rites. <laughs> My apologies, been a little busy. <laughs> yes, Layla's final report covered much. Elliwood, I am so sorry about Lord Elbridge. I was powerless to help. No, nothing could have been done. More importantly, do you know of Nurgle? Only what was reported to me. He appeared a year ago and seized control of the Black Fang. Then he ensnared Laos in a plot of rebellion against Ostia. I can't see what he's after. The dragons that vanished after the scouring... He wants to bring them back again. What? Can that be done? Yes, let me explain. This has even got my brother brooding. He's always been a firm believer in quick decisions, yet he wishes for more time. That's never happened before. It's gone from a simple rebellion to the threat to the human race. We saw it with our own eyes, and yet, it's also unbelievable. Yes, it's all true. Yes, I wonder what will happen next. Ideally, we could bring the whole of our lands together to fight as one. It would be a return to the time of the scouring. However, this all hinges on the existence of dragons themselves. Unless dragons are seen in the skies, I doubt anyone will believe us. Right, and once the dragons are here, it'll be too late. We must stop all of this now, and we're the only ones who know enough to do it. Right. I agree. There, ha there we have it. Come, let's speak to my brother. Mangs, Ninian, will you go with us? Yeah, yes. Hey, I don't know I get a say in this. I would sooner not place this burden on your shoulders alone, and yet I can see no other choice before me. Listen, my brother. Elliwood, Lindis, are you determined to act on your resolve? Yes, we're prepared. Me too. I don't care for sitting back, waiting to for others to act. And you, Mangs. My brother and his friends are in your depths. What role will you play? Will you help them? See their through their coming trials? No! I see. Then I have no more to say. I will aid you as much as I can. Good luck to you all. And what of the girl, the one we spoke of earlier? Oh, Ninian. It's an honor to meet you, Marcus Ostia. Both Ninian and her brother, Nils, possess a special power. Is that so? Then I would ask you. Do you know where Nurgle is at the moment? Yes, I can sense him to the east. He is very far. East? Is he targeting Burn next? That bodes ill. Burn is a powerful and militant country. If Nurgle ensnares it, we're done for. There's still time. He's still very weak. Now, we must act. So, Nurgle can't act right away, is that it? Yet, what can we... We've no choice but to depart for Burn. If there's time, make make your destination, monsieur. Monsieur? That's the... Oh, <laughs> he's not saying monsieur as in, as in like... Late, like, gentleman in French. Monsieur! I don't know why I read Monsieur. I, oh my god, I'm, I must be getting tired. Monsieur, that's the wrong direction. Go to the Nambata Deshet. You might find aid there. What do you mean? Go and meet the living legends. Living legends? Well, we're going, brother. Hmm. Take care of yourself. And Marcus Farah, too. You must be Ellie with support and strength. I know. This has all gotten so out of hand. Still, it's not entirely hopeless. Lord Elbert's death need not be in vain. We won't lose. You're beginning to sound reasonable. Hey! What is it? You're coloring. You don't look so good. Is something wrong? It's just... 
I just heard a tale that would frighten anyone. When I think that the future rests on the shoulders of a man like you who lives so haphazardly, I realize that my life been too short. Bah, is that any way to be? And I was worried about you too. You should get going, your friends are waiting. Haha, <laughs> pardon my overlong visits. I will take my leave of you then, most honored elder brother. Hector, what is it? Remember, I have not given you the permission to die. Heed the orders of your Marcus and return to me alive. Mm. I'll bring you a tale you won't believe. Mark my words, brother. I shall return. Alright, so are we going to the desert yet next? I think we are. Oh, I love that map. That's extremely cool. That's when we first meet Pent as well. That's going to be interesting. Let's see if we can unlock that Gaiden chapter. You know, that's going to be extremely difficult, actually. And I'll explain why in the next episode. So I'm not sure if we can get that, but uh, I'm going to try my best anyway. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this episode. My name is Manx, and I'll see you next time! Goodbye!